Hello there, and welcome along to another movie review, which today is actually two movies in one review. And I say that because <laughs> the first movie I just couldn't watch, <laughs> and the second movie I couldn't stop watching. But anyway, the first movie was 1995's Empire Records, which was recommended by Amy Dawson. Now, Empire Records takes place in a mall, but it's not like it's not like Broadlands Mall, where if you stood on a crack, <laughs> you married a rat. <laughs> Remember that? Now, the movie, it started off alright. It was okay. But the guy, the guy who was the main star so far, he keeps speaking like he was auditioning for the role of a superhero. And it got a tad annoying. And it got even more annoying when they all started to sing. <laughs> but I thought, Regan, it's just the start of the movie. It'll get better. But it didn't. <laughs> and that's because Rex Manning's music video came up next. And that was it. Nah. Shut it off. I don't like it. <laughs> but don't worry, Amy. Don't despair. Because it actually took me three goes to watch Pulp Fiction. Now... I love it. It's a great movie. <laughs> but unfortunately, I can't give Empire Records any cans, not even a nip, until I finish watching the movie, which could be some time. <laughs> oh. Which now brings me on to the second movie, which was 2013's movie, Septic Man, <laughs> which was recommended by Brendan Dugan. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not the famous one. Now, this movie contains the worst audition to Firestarter ever released. <laughs> and it's a movie about Jack, who gets involved with secret stuff offered by Kennedy's Umbrella Man. <laughs> And despite what people say, it's actually it's actually quite an enjoyable movie if you have a few beers plus. <laughs> now, Brendan, tell me honestly, would you have said yes to that job? <laughs> and did you go, oh no, <laughs> when he got to the bars and and does, oh yeah. Well, be careful. <laughs> Bring whole new meaning to you too. <laughs> what a line. What a classic movie. Yeah, it was great. And it was a movie that left the singing until the end. Awesome stuff. And just because of that, I give this movie on a scale of 1 to 12 cans. Or nip. Being half a point. I give this movie... A solid nine and a half. See you in the next video!